Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Comic Book Corner and this is your host the Spider Slayer. Today we're going to talk about, yes, my all favorite comic book, The Walking Dead. And we're going to talk about issue number 91. Uh, I was really looking forward to this issue today and um, basically we're not going to have Andrea and Rick babies. So uh, that was part of the story going on there. Uh, to see what would happen after this passionate kiss after the last issue in issue number 90 um, of The Walking Dead. But here in the front cover, we can see issue 91, as I showed in the opening credits there, that Andrea is still kind of mourning over Dale, whether or not to let him go or not. And she really wants to be a couple with Rick. And in this issue, basically, Rick kind of doesn't want anything to do with Andrea in a relationship uh, status. And uh, that's the basic, you know, plot with these two, um, is that he's afraid that everyone he cares about gets hurt. And I kind of said that in the last review, that, you know, it might not happen. Um, but this was a good issue. Um, not, it wasn't... It was a good issue, but there wasn't a lot going on. It's just a lot of mishmash in the entire issue. We had the group going out for supplies. We had the the uh, um, the closing ties of Andrea and Rick that got wrapped up real quickly, and then we had a um, little thing going on with uh, Carl and um, Rick as well in the book, and uh, it also talked about a little bit about um, Maggie and Glenn. And it touched on that just a tad. So it was all these little tie-ins coming into, uh, a, you know, an end here. And, and something big looks like it's going to start brewing very, very shortly in the book. Um, there was very few zombies in this particular issue. And, uh, you know, it, it was just basically in the first page where the zombie action was. Um, but again, there's something brewing. There's something starting and going on here. Uh, in this in this series here, something big is going to happen because of the final page. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough of this issue. Uh, I just want you guys to see some of the pics inside so you can appreciate the art uh, in a better view. Because when I do my walkthroughs, I kind of flip through pages and can't always see it. So here's some pics for you. And enjoy them, and I'll see you guys through the walkthrough. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going to get ready for another walkthrough. Um, I just wanted to give this book an actual quick rating here. I gave it a... I give it like a, a three and a half, maybe four out of five. Um, like I said, it's been a lot of slowness going on in the book, but I know something's happening. Um, there has been better issues, but again, it's all going towards the major thing that's going ahead. So I guess I'll give it a four out of five. But right now we're going to go do a walkthrough here, and um, and I'll start off here on the first page. And here on the first page, you can see that right away it's like Eric, look out! And then all of a sudden you see boom, zombie action going on. And I know we've been we've been dreading, you know, we've been looking for some zombie stuff going on here. But right away, machete right through the head, ba boom. Slice and dice, baby. That's what I say. Slice and dice. Next thing we know is that he's he's in trouble. Eric's in trouble. And then all of a sudden, what uh, bam Zombie gets punched in the head by a bullet or, you know, whatever. His brains get blown out. It's like, all over the place. It's disgusting. And, uh, you know, I think that was Aaron who actually who had to uh, duck out of the bullet because Glenn is the one that actually shot the bullet through into the into the zombie's head there. So um, so Aaron and Eric here give them a little hug because they're, you know, they're um, like, I don't know if they're a married couple. Um, I'm not sure about that, but you know, they're kind of happy to see each other there. And a nice little thing here is the tie-in. Uh, you know, hopefully this ends this little thing with Maggie about feeling safe 
with Glenn being out all the time, but she went out with Glenn this particular time to go get food with the group. Uh, we can see that right there. And, it, you know, if you read the book, she'll say that, you know, she feels safer um, with Glenn and, and, and things like that. So um, maybe now she won't be such a crybaby because I, I thought she was going to lose it there for a while. And, you know, who knows, she could be the next one to be killed. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, next thing we know is that we see Rick here. He's having a meeting. And um, one of the things that is really talked about here now, and this gives you a perspective in the comic book how long this uh, zombie apocalypse has been going on. It's been going on for almost two years. And, um, um, and they're having issues with trying to find food. They keep going out and finding less and less and less and finding... You know, they're eating stuff out of expiration date, canned goods, stuff that shouldn't be fresh that lasts that long. So they're having this big meeting about discussing about farming. Um, so they're, I would think that makes sense. You got to try to farm, find fertilizer, things like that in order to stay alive in this, in this world. Um, so that was one of the meetings that they talked about. And Abraham is sitting here. He's going to be in charge of, of the zoning aspect of everything. Um, we can see here that... Carl and Sophia are talking um, on, the, on the couch and, um, you know, Carl's sitting there uh, talking to Sophia and they're discussing with the, each other and Sophia goes, how come nothing's ever happened, happens bad to me, Carl, you know, and Carl's like, are you serious? He's like, you lost your mom and dad, you know, and, um, but it doesn't seem to bother Sophia anymore. And so that was just a brief discussion that they had. And the next thing we know is we see Andrea and Rick, they're talking. And this was a very important plot line in this particular issue because it's covering the ground of what happened last time. Are they going to be a couple? Aren't they going to be a couple? And what happens here is that they're having the discussion and um, she said she's going back to her house and she's going back alone. And, um, and Rick basically does not want to, you know, be in a relationship with Andrea. He's afraid that he's going to hurt her or something bad's going to happen to her. And he doesn't want that, you know, because everyone he's loved, everything that's always happened, always got hurt. And Andrea is just like, bullshit. We can get along. We've been through it together. And she's just upset about the whole thing. And... He's trying to change the subject about how she's not wearing Dale's hat and stuff like that. And she's upset because he's trying to change the subject. And, and so, um, you know, next thing we see is that Andrea here is going into her room and she is talking to Dale's hat. And she's saying to him, basically, I kind of cared about him even before all of this happened. And then she walks away and throws the hat. You can see she throws it. And she goes, no way am I talking to a fucking hat? And that ends that. So I think she might be over Dale now in, in the whole situation. Next thing we see is that the group comes back. And they come back with all their supplies. Sophia is happy to see mom and dad, who is uh, Maggie and Glenn. And she basically admits that she's not afraid to, you know, She's not afraid of any of the situations anymore and that she knows that her mom and dad were killed and Maggie and Glenn are not her parents. So she's learned to come to grips of the whole situation. So we can see there that the whole thing is maturing. And next we see is Aaron and Eric. They kind of stole a bottle of Jack or Scotch or whatever it is and they're going to go do some drinking here. And You know, I guess it's not part of the rules to steal things from the group, but they want to get wasted together. So I guess there's nothing wrong with that. And here, coming towards the end of the issue, we see that, um, what's it called? That he's reading, and um, Rick comes in, and he's just he's telling Carl that, you know, turn off the lamp, and, you know, he, and, and Carl's just all short with Rick, and he's saying, you don't know anything. He goes, you don't know anything. You don't know what has happened to me. I got shot. You don't know what it's like to read with one eyeball. You don't know what it's like. You don't know anything, Dad. So you can see that 
he's kind of pissed off about the whole situation and and Rick is just feels really bad and he goes you know what you're right son and I'm sorry and that's how the issue basically ends but as we see in the distance we see the house we see the bars we see something getting further away we see goggles what's going on here it comes the last issue major spoiler alert if you guys don't want to see the last part of the issue but boom Who's this freaking dude? This guy looks like he's going to cause problems for the group. Something's going to happen here. Something's going to happen in the community. Does he have a group? Does he have a gang? Is he by himself? Is he going to pick people off with his gun? Who knows? But this guy looks like trouble. Trouble's a brewing coming up in the Walking Dead. So again, guys, I think in the, in the, fur, in the end, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Again, I'm, I'm ready for something big to happen in the series, and I think it's going to happen very, very soon. Um, so that is it for my, for my review and for my walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, videos might be a little bit tough in the, in, in the next week and a half or so with Thanksgiving. I work in retail, and uh, this is the busiest time of the, of the month or for the year for me. And so I apologize if some videos come up late or if there's not as many in the next couple of weeks. And I'll try to do as much as I can. And again, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Thanks. Subscribe today to Comic Cook Corner. Thank you very much. Bye.